So let me just pin you. Okay. There we go. All right. So all right. You ready? Yes. Ready for it. Could you tell me a bit about why you chose to go to Mandalay? My sister, who's older, uh, the oldest, went to Mandalay College, which is how I heard about Mandalay. I had been in a gifted math program when I was in high school at Illinois Institute of Technology. And there were very few women in that program. And it became clear to me early on that the professors were gearing everything toward the men and the women who were in the program were as a window dressing. And I decided that that's not what I wanted for myself. So I went to the Immaculata High School, which was a BVM school. And then, of course, I went on to Mandalay, which I remember thinking was just like the Immaculata, but it had ashtrays. It was a smoker. <laughs> I have so many questions because these are all amazing stories. So I'm just going to take you a bit back. There's so many memories, um, you know, the, the we used to call it the tea room, not mm -hmm. the cafeteria. And it was so much fun to go that, go there and, you know, meet with friends and sit around the tables. So a group that I was in went to the chairman of the education department and said, please, you know, you gotta change this. And she actually started some program where she herself drove a number of us to the inner city to tutor once a week, Sister Margaret Irene Healy. The marches and events that you attended, what were they like? What was the atmosphere like? And one of the big changes, you know, at Gundelein, Vatican II, was the BVMs, many of them, came out of their habits. Not only did they come out of their habit, they went back to their baptismal names. So you're on campus, and you see a face. And you think, I know that face. But who is she? You couldn't, a lot of times, remember. I remember we had a weekend where people could come and stay overnight. In the dorm, new students, and we had new students in the dorm overnight the night that Martin Luther King Jr. was killed. 1966 was a very pivotal year on the planet in terms of these kinds of changes. Um, and I think that our class participated in this without consciously knowing we were doing it. I mean, we were, we were just part of it. We were always encouraged to try to do things. And it was like, there was nothing we couldn't do. If we wanted to do it, we could, you know. I think the fact that I was able to establish these relationships and then maintain them all these years, I th first of all, I think it speaks a lot about the experience of Mundelein. I, I still feel very grateful uh, that I had the Mundelein experience. You're causing me to remember things I haven't thought about in years. <laughs>